Hello, it is Friday, September, what is it, the 6th. So I heard this loud noise. Um, I live on a very small island and um, uh, whenever there's like a big, big truck that comes down the road, it's very apparent, you can hear it, it's obvious. And then when I hear the truck sound lingering for a while, I know that that's, you know, not just a car driving by. Then I hear this thump thump and the dog started barking. So I knew I had a delivery coming today. So I opened up the door and I don't even think he stopped the truck. I think he just chucked it like a Frisbee from his truck because it barely made my porch and it was just strewn like right barely at the steps, not even close to the door. And I have like a little side hidden table off in a little nook so people driving up and down the street uh, can't really see it as they're going by you know it's not obvious well he didn't use that at all he it was just laying out for the world to see anyways so i have no idea <laughs> what this is so i figured i'm gonna do a video and let's find out together Okay, Madam Endora's fortune cards. Forgot all about this. <clears throat> Ordered these a little while ago. Okay, so I watched a video uh, of a reading on YouTube and she was using these cards and I was super intrigued by the cards. And I said, wow, what deck is that? I love it, I have to have it. And so then um, I went on to a tarot buy and trade site that i'm a member of i'm a member of a few of them actually but what i'm finding what's really crazy is let's say like this deck right here is 15 dollars on amazon free shipping to your door within you know seven days guaranteed through amazon so you know and you're buying it through paypal so it's all good and safe and it's brand new in a box on these trading sites, they're like $20 plus $10 shipping. And I'm like, you do understand I could buy it cheaper on, on Amazon. And they go, well, then why don't you go buy it? I'm like, okay, I will. Thank you. I, I'm just like, you want me to buy your used deck for more than new? I wish you could do that with used cars. That's all I'm saying. Hey, would you like to buy my, you know, 2014 car for... Oh, I don't know, $3,000 more than a brand new one? Because, you know, everyone wants to do that, right? So I guess, you know, how ridiculous of me to not want to spend $3,000 extra dollars on a used car instead of buying one for $3,000 less for, for a brand new. I mean, I'm crazy. Ugh, ridiculous. So um, I'm not a big fan of these flip boxes it's just so cheap and cheesy and i am not a fan of these little books either i would rather spend a little bit more and get a quality box and a quality book these are very low quality cards brand new out of the box it already has damage on it so <clears throat> but that being said i love the design <clears throat> excuse me the black and gold and I was really enthralled with the artwork which when it comes down to the cards that is always the most important thing I like how it's a mix of like Egyptian and then renaissance like do they just think that the egyptian just mixed with the renaissance it doesn't matter i love it i i'm not complaining some nordic greek mythology it's just a combination fantasy you know, of all the above.
So it's not just it's not just one note, which I kind of like. It's it's all of it together, which I find to be very cool. Right now I'm doing this thing where I'm trying to match up and having a corresponding um, oracle card with my tarot cards. So I definitely needed something like this to go with the tarot deck that I had that just didn't seem to have a soulmate. So I thought this would make a good soulmate for that uh, tarot deck. But aren't these just gorgeous? I just really... I really like them. I would absolutely be head over heels in love if it had a quality box, book, and card. But you know, it is what it is. And they were they were not very expensive. I think this deck was seventeen dollars. So you can't really complain. You know, like I said, I would have been willing to pay more to get a better quality. But I like the elements. So there is your Madame and Dora's fortune cards. That's one that I'll probably end up using. See how you get the um, extra cards? This is probably one that I'm going to use. Um, see, I'm not a fan of kind of like the darker side of things I like it more you know more uplifting a little more positive I don't mind it to have some drama and some depth but I don't like to go too far onto you know to where you're like in the darker realms so I can utilize these two cards to create its own box um, and what I do is purchase I'm going to go grab and show you. I purchased boxes like this. They're the fake books. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Don't you love it when you're getting sick? Oh, it's so much fun. And as you can clearly see, that card does fit, but an entire deck I have a feeling it's not going to. So let's put this in here and see. Yeah, that's what I figured. Little too snug as a bug in a rug kind of situation. And that one doesn't even want to come out. All right, so they have all different types and sizes in these boxes so this one would be a great one to use and then what I do is I'll buy one that's not nice like this one that I would want to keep I would buy one that's more generic they have ones that are just like paper mache and then you can um, spray them black you can spray the inside with like a felt spray and um, you can put a little uh, magnetic paint so they do have magnetic paint but the problem is you have to have a positive and a negative that's where it gets tricky but what you can do is then paint it and if i painted it black and then took this card i can do that on top of there which would be stunning and then you could take this card so you know what's on the side you could take this card and you could put on your printer and print it out. And then once you print it out on paper, then it would be nice because you can make it a bit smaller. And then you can even wrap it around so that when it's on your shelf, you know exactly what deck is in this box. So you don't have to, you know, memorize the box or go through each box. But then what's nice about this as well is that on the inside, then you can use that um this on the outside this on the inside whichever you choose you can also print this out expand it so it's like wallpaper and then you can have that all on the outside because you know this pattern you know so there's anyway a ton of things you can do 
which is my um, which is my favorite when you have a lot of options. And I'm all about a craft, doing a doing a DIY craft. So we will put those in there. Also, I always add a crystal and I always like to put a crystal in that I feel vibes with this deck and I have this amazing amazing tiger's eye which looks to me like it's an eye I mean how cool how cool is that looks like an eye I was like um yeah I'm buying that so I feel like right off the bat, that was the first thing I saw from my tray of crystals. So that is now going to belong to that. Always keep your boxes. I have a shelf where I keep all of my tarot and my oracle. And then I pull them up further towards the front of the shelf a little bit. And I put all of the boxes behind. Because if you ever wanted to buy, sell, or trade these, um, I guess you wouldn't buy them, but you know, trade them or sell them, uh, people would like the box. And then it stays in really good quality. So never throw that out. My videos are always going to be me educating people on stuff because I learn so much from other people's videos from really cool hacks and things that they do. So why not share the love? What's next? Oh, I guess I shouldn't... Uh that out there showing the world my address not that anyone cares where I live or what I got going on in my life but <gasps> oh okay it is the September Switches Moon. Oh my gosh. So excited about this. Wow. The smell coming from this box. Okay. Sorry. I can't show you. <laughs> I have to save this for a separate Witches Moon unboxing. Which I can't do till tonight because um, I put it all on my altar and the sun shining and ruins it. So I have to do that video later tonight. So watch, watch for this because, whoo, oh, it smells so good. All right. Well, hope you enjoyed the video on Madame and Dora's fortune cards and my little quick hack.